Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Well, all eyes are going to be on the President's Day weekend, and we do have a storm for President's Day, at least a Sunday into President's Day. We'll talk about it. The origin of this thing is going to be from the Pacific Northwest, but then it's going to take a turn. So here is our future uh, radar. This is a great product to track these storms into the future. And here we are. Uh, this is uh, Friday morning at 5 a.m. Most of the moisture is up here, Idaho, Montana, into the Pacific Northwest. Then there's a little bit of a leading edge to this storm, which blows out a little bit of snow through the Tetons uh, tomorrow evening and then kind of through the northern mountains of Colorado on Saturday morning. Again, that's just kind of the leading puff of smoke out, of out ahead of this thing. As we roll through Saturday night, notice what happens. The jet stream starts to shift to more of a northwest flow type pattern, starts to bend out of that direction, and the moisture starts to follow suit, starts to run along that jet. As we work our way into Sunday morning, now you start to see the effects of this thing, that northwest type bending on the jet. The moisture starts to get ushered in to the Wasatch, to the Tetons, and eventually into Colorado. As we approach Sunday night, we're still in that same kind of pattern. The moisture is coming down. You can see it's getting blasted into the Wasatch Tetons and into Colorado. And here's President's Day morning. Snow has migrated into the most of the mountain zones and into Colorado and continues to snow on President's Day in Colorado. By President's Day night, 5 p.m., things start to wind down. The main storm is moving away at that point. So what are we looking at? One to two feet of accumulation. Some places, there'll be localized pockets of heavier amounts. But I think most places, if you're looking at uh, you know the confidence interval of whatever it is, 95% in some cases, uh, most places will fall within one to two feet. And you can kind of see that working your way down through the Tetons, the Wasatch, and into the central and northern mountains of Colorado. A few snow plumes here, Alta. Not a lot of snow until we get to Sunday, Monday. Then you really start to shoot up on the uh, the plume up to about 20, 22, 24 inches of snow there. Rabbit ears pass. One of the bullseyes in Colorado last time and with this storm as well. Touch of snow Saturday morning and then it really steepens. Look at that. Uh, about uh, two feet, maybe even 30 inches up there over rabbit ears. And Jackson Hole is going to get just nailed with this flow type pattern. A little bit of snow on Saturday and big time snow Sunday. Sunday, President's Day. I mean, we're almost off the chart by the time we get into that time frame. A quick look at some of the specific numbers here. This will run us all the way through Thursday into President's Day. You can see the numbers. They're hefty all the way up in Idaho, Big Sky, and down to the Wasatch looking for probably two feet there over the top. Alta Solitude, Brighton, Park City Canyons, and 30 inches or so here over the top of the Tetons into Colorado. There's that bullseye over Rabbit Ears and Buffalo uh, Pass. Cameron Pass will do well. Longs Peak, lots of snow. I-70 corridor, probably a foot to two feet, somewhere in that zone. And then down south, Crested Butte should do well with this storm, West Elks, and then a bit over the top of the northern escarpment of the San Juans, about a foot there. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. We'll do another update tomorrow, and that'll roll us all the way through President's Day, looking like a great pattern. Thanks for tuning in here.